Hi friends, today we're gonna do module five, lesson 11. Objective, show, count, and write numbers 11 to 20 in tower configurations increasing by one a pattern of one larger. So just like if anybody remembers the baby bear trying to get to the honey pot or the baby bear trying to get back down to her den, this is the stair step one more that configuration that we're talking about today. And what pretty rainbow um, block towers we have today. All right, we're gonna play a game called One More. I want you to say one more than you see on the Rec and Rec. So for example, we have 10 up here, and I want you to say 10 and one, 11. Good, say that for me. All right, we're gonna do it again, but I'm gonna move one over. Now we're gonna say 10 and two, 12. Good, keep going, friends. 10 and three, 13. 10 and four, 14. 10 and five, 15. 10 and 6, 16. 10 and 7, 17. 10 and 8, 18. 10 and 9, 19. And remember, 10 and one more 10 makes 20. Two 10s makes 20. Well done. All right, for our fluency game, we're going to um, say teen numbers the say 10 way, just like we did before, um, but we're going to do it visually with me just putting the number on the board. So if I do the number 13, what would you say? 10, 3. Good. What about 17? 10, 7. What about 19? 10, 9. 14, 10, 4, 16, sorry about that, 16, 10, 7, and one more, 15, 10, 5, great job. Michael has 10 toy trucks. He told his mom he likes to spread them out on the floor. He does not like to put them away neatly in his little toy box because then there are fewer toys. So he's saying when they're all spread out in his room, imagine these are toy cars and they're all spread out over here, up there, on the counter, on the floor, that he has more. But when he puts them away, he doesn't have the same number. He has less. Hmm. Let's draw a picture to prove to Michael that the number of toy trucks is the same when they are all spread out as when they are in the little toy box. So I am going to represent this picture by getting out my marker and I'm going to show um, Michael's toys neatly put away inside this treasure chest. Okay, this is all of the nice toys put away. And then when we represent all of them on the floor, we'll put them out here on the floor. So you can draw a box on your paper too, and we will see if Michael is right. Does he have more when they're on the floor or the same as when they're put away neatly in his trunk? All right, he has 10 toy trucks, so we need to do 10. We can go with the big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice and neat. Toys in the toy chest. He has ten. All right, here are my ten on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does he still have ten toy trucks, the red ones, even though they're all spread out? Yeah, he still has 10. It's a, it's a lot harder to count them because they're all over the place. But no matter if they're neatly in his chest or strewn out, strewn out on the floor, he only has 10 of those trucks. So it's nice to keep your toys nice and neat and then you won't lose any of them if you keep them back in the box. Great job, friends. All right, practice that vocabulary this week. Make sure you um, check out that extra additional video to get that math fluency in. All right, friends, today um, we are going to use um, either cubes or any object that you have to count um, up 
using this sentence. It's We're um, going to actually read the sentence that we've been saying this entire time. So you already know how to do it. We're just going to read the sentence this time. All right, so 10, we're going to start with the number 10. Go ahead and flash me 10 fingers. Good. 10, one more is good reading. So read the sentence. 10, one more is 11. Great job. Now we're going to add 11 to this side and read the sentence. 11, one more is 12. Great job. Okay, we're going to keep going. 12, one more is 13. And on your paper, you can be writing your team numbers with me in order and saying this sentence. We're going to put 13 over here. 13, one more is 14. Good. 14, one more is 15. And 15, one more is 16. Good job. We're counting up using these big team numbers. 16, really quick, one more is 17. Good job. 17, one more is 18. 18, one more is 19. Well done. And our last one, friends, 19, one more is 20. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. Remember, 20 is a two and a zero. Two tens, zero extra ones. All right, friends, here's Baby Bear Stairs, and most of them are filled in. We're just going to fill in one. So on your paper or on your whiteboard, I want you to help me fill in the missing step. First, let's figure out which step is missing. Get my marker ready. All right. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, <gasps> what number is missing? 17, 10 and a seven. So when we take a look at the steps to help us draw our own steps, what do we notice? Each step goes up by one cube. So when we do night 17, we need to go up by one more cube and stop here. When you're drawing your cubes at home, take your time. And remember how Ms. Split showed you um, to draw your cubes? You can draw a long rectangle, okay? And don't close it yet and count as you go. And do it carefully so that you don't make any mistakes. You can also close off this and say 10, right? That's 10 blocks we're going to represent right there. And you're going to draw seven individual blocks. So one, two, three. Oh, I need to make it longer. Four, five, six, seven. And then I can close out my tower. And I can go back and double check that I have seven individual cubes to make 17. Try to make 17 on your board while I fill in our stair sets. We have 10 blue ones and seven, I'm gonna, whoop, one more up, seven red stairs to get Baby Bear all the way to the top. Great job. All right, last example, friends. We are going to fill this in with circles and Xs, but first, let's look at what number is missing. 10, 12, what number is missing here? 11, a one and a one. This one represents 10 one, ten ones and one extra one. Now let's look at our drawing. They have 10 circles, and then after they got to 10, they switched to X's. So we, our job is to fill in 12 the same way. So how many circles? 10, and how many X's will we have? 10, two, 12, so we need two X's. Let's go ahead and get started. Get my marker here. So we are going to do 10 circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we need two X's to represent 12. One, two. 
What would be the next number in this sequence? 12, 13. And how many x's would 13 have? Three, because we're representing the ones column with x's. We're representing the tens column with circles. Great job, friends. Thanks for joining me.